What is up everybody? This is Aaron and I am so excited to finally launch our tutorial on flags. It's been a couple months in the making and if you haven't already, I would pause this video and check out our intro to C-stands and intro to flag tutorial. That'll just get you up to speed so when we're showing you the setups, you'll know how we got to the place that we were. But without further ado, here it is. Let's hop in the studio and learn about flags. So for our first setup, we're gonna do something a little bit more dramatic, and we're gonna use a few different kinds of flags. We're gonna use two different V-flats from V-flat world, and we're also gonna use a small Matthews flag to keep the light off of the wall. All right, let's take a look. So over here, we have two V-flats from V-flat world, and what we're trying to accomplish is a narrow beam of light as if someone had opened a door and now the light is spilling onto the model. There's a couple different things I wanna talk about here. One is you'll notice we have a seven inch reflector. We're not using a soft diffuse light for this because we want hard lines on the edges of this. The other thing is we don't have the reflector pointed straight into the V-flats. And that's because we need the light to be even. And if you pointed it right at the V-flats, you'd have a hot spot that actually wraps around and creates a little bit of feathering that we don't want here. We also have a light blue gel to kind of give it this cool, mysterious look. And that's just tapered right onto the outside. Moving on to the second light, we have an overhead umbrella. All this is for is a little bit of fill. There's a lot of great detail in the dress, a lot of great detail in the table, and we wanna make sure those don't go away. So we have this up high and really soft on a low power just to push a little bit of light into the scene. For our final light, we wanted to mimic candlelight. So we have our model Sabrina here, and she's sitting at a table. And we're gonna light this, but it's not gonna put out enough light to actually put color onto her face. So what we did was, we put an amber gel onto a gridded snoot and pointed it down at the table to almost bounce it through and off the table onto her. But there was a little bit of spill coming back onto the wall, so what do we do? We use a flag. We put this small Matthews flag here, just up against the side of it to block any unwanted spill off the wall so it's not distracting in our scene. And all this talk is great, but let's get a shot and see what it looks like. Before we get started, I wanna to talk to you guys about why I'm on a tripod. A lot of people ask me, if you're shooting portraits, isn't it non-organic and why do you use a tripod? With a setup like this, where you have really tight lighting with flags everywhere, you wanna make sure you get your shot framed up and locked off so you know that nothing's changing while you're shooting. That being said, let's get into the actual shot and see what it looks like. All right, Sabrina, awesome. Nice and relaxed, remember that little breath in, intensity through, very nice. And then push, arch your back just a little bit. And remember that kind of wonder and mystery that there's coming through the door. Beautiful, relax your mouth. Beautiful. I like that play with the bottom of the cuff just a little bit. Very good. That looks great. So one of the things I want to talk about is when you're working with a model and a lighting setup like this, the lighting is really tight. So you need to make sure you're talking one through the feel of the shoot, but also where the lighting is. Because if they move just an inch this way or an inch that way, the lighting's not gonna be exactly on. I've talked to Sabrina a little bit before, but you can see as I shoot, I'm also talking to her and making sure that the images are looking the way that we want them to. So let's get back in and try a couple more. And we need to bring your face to the right just a little bit more, find your light. That's good, I like the crossed hands. Beautiful, It's good. Sit up a little bit straighter for me and then look off, very good. Relax the mouth, put that hand down again. I do like that. Good, right there is beautiful. Find your light, let me see where you are. Oh, love that, that kind of chin up and off. Very good. I could shoot this all day long and it's looking beautiful as you guys will see, but we're gonna move on to our next lighting setup. So we're gonna dive into the next lighting setup and it's not horribly different, but there's something I wanna point out before we get started. So let's hop over and take a look. So we're still using the overhead umbrella for fill and we want this to feel like a candlelit situation. And one of the things I wanted to point out was we are not using a flag on it. And the reason is I wanna get all of the light into the scene because it's a little bit dark. But I want to point out we are using a lamp that's glass. And that glass lamp is gonna have the reflection of this in it. Now, if you're shooting video or something, this would be a good time to pull out another large flag 
and actually flag out the reflection. I'm just gonna take care of it in post-production in Photoshop, but you can put another flag right here and keep that reflection off of the glass. So let's dive in and start shooting. All right, Sabrina, Sabrina really thoughtful. Love it, eyes towards the lamp, awesome. And really don't be afraid to play with your hands a lot here too. Awesome. Love the thought. One of the things I love with shoots like this is because we have a theme, we have a story. So before we started shooting, I sat down with Sabrina and we talked about what the feel was. We want the mood to be thoughtful about what happened or what's coming. And so she's gonna move her hands and her face a lot. And it's your job to get that emotion from them. So we've got all this beautiful lighting, but without that emotion, it doesn't really mean anything. So let's shoot a few more and we're gonna move on to another lighting setup. Okay, here we go. Oh, I like that. Beautiful. Yep, keep moving your hands. Don't be afraid to move those hands around. That's good, and don't be afraid to take those small breaths. I love that, hold right there. Beautiful. Oh, that's great. Okay, we've got this one. Let's move on to the next lighting setup. So we got two shoots down and we're moving into a completely different lighting setup with the same theme. Let's hop in and take a look at what we're doing this time. So as our key light, we have a 39 inch deep octobox. Now it is important, I like using the deep octobox for stuff like this because it creates a little more contrast and it doesn't flare out the light as much as like a shallower octobox would. So that's why I chose this one. You'll also see that this is really, really feathered. It is almost parallel to her as far as the lighting goes and that's to create a really soft fall off and a really nice strip of light down her face. But that wasn't enough. We want a little more drama in the shot. So we have this small Matthews flag right here and all this is gonna do is cut light off of the left side of her face so that it creates a little more of a strip. So it, maybe it's coming through a window or a door and thinking about where that light is coming from. Then over here, we have our snoot again with that amber gel. And that's just literally pointed right on her. We don't need a flag in this setup because there's nothing to flag it off of. And because we have the grid on there, it's really easy to control. Again, this is so important that you communicate with your model what is happening so that they know this is a really narrow lighting setup. So you're gonna see me on a tripod and she's gonna be moving very, very small movements forward and backward so we get exactly the light we're looking for. All right guys, so let's get into shooting. Nice. And just be on the camera, make sure those little moves forward. So I would even maybe start and then just move forward just a little bit to give you that feel. Here we go. Beautiful. Might be a little far, let's see. Oh, that's great, beautiful. Okay, here we go. Remember, relax, breath in, you're looking. Beautiful. Give me a little moves with the face, so to the side, up and down, very good. Here we go. Good, back up just a little bit, hold right there. Beautiful. A little more intensity in the eyes for me. Nice, good, hold right there, perfect. Come toward me just a little bit. Good, love it. right past the camera now, and then tilt your head to the left just a little bit, kind of give it that wonder. Love, come towards me just a little bit now. We've got that flag, awesome, looks beautiful. Come towards me just a little bit more. Keep your head tilted, awesome, that's great. So you can see guys, one of the things that you really need to be aware of is the small movements make a huge difference. So when she moves forward, she's going away from that flag and now the shadow on her face is gonna completely change. That's totally fine, but you just need to be aware of it while you're coaching your model through. So we're gonna shoot a little bit more and I think we're gonna get our shot. Okay, here we go. I love that, that's great. A little more intensity in the eyes, bring those bottom lids up for me. Okay, come forward, there we go, that's beautiful. Love it. Now come straight on to me, body straight on. Good, just like that. And look right into the camera, like an eye is kind of sad. Back up just a little bit, very good right there. Chin up just a little bit, very nice. Love it. One of the things I forgot to mention you guys is we did put a light blue gel in the key light, so it is giving it that cool vibe. I showed you the amber gel, but we wanted to really mix those lights together to give it the contrast and the feel that we were going for. So we've got that shot, looks beautiful. We're gonna move on to the next setup. 
Okay guys, we've made it this far. It's time for the final setup and this is a big one. We've done a big makeup change and there's a lot of cool things going on. So let's hop inside of it and take a look. So the first thing that we've added right here is a small strip box with a purple gel inside of it. And that's just gonna act as a rim light. Now, speaking of flagging, you can actually use the soft boxes to flag themselves as long as you feather it away from your background. So that's gonna control the spill on the background just by using the edge of the modifier. Then swing around in here. The big change here is we're using two large Matthews flags up top and we're actually creating a strip of light right here that is making a nice soft line down the model's face. Now we also put a grid on a beauty dish, which is really gonna control the spill of the light. And then to control it even more, we put those two flags in front. This is a feathered type of lighting where it's above her and it's tilted down. So you're gonna get nice soft lighting, but it's gonna be very specific and very narrow. And you'll see that when we start moving around. In the back behind me, you'll see that good old snoot that we've been using the whole time. And we just switch that gel over to kind of a turquoise greenish gel to create a little bit different atmosphere and mood for the photo. But now that we've seen it, let's get in and start shooting. So we're back around front and we're ready to shoot. Let's pop off a few frames and see how we're looking. Good, nice and intense. Love it. Eyes kind of down to the camera is better, just like that, perfect. Beautiful. Nice, and this is intense. Give me that warrior, that intense look. Mouth closed, eyes a little bit more intense. Beautiful. Love it. Guys, one of the things that I forgot to mention that I wanna bring up is this white reflector here in the front. And all that's doing is pushing some of the light that's above her back into the feathers and back under her chin. It's still gonna be really dark, but it brings out a little bit of the details and makes it a little more specific. And that's something you can do to bring in almost another light source, but just simply put it on a C-stand. So let's get a couple more. All right, awesome. Love the hands. Bring those hands up nice and tense into the camera. Push your forehead forward just a little bit. Love it, love the intensity. Hold both hands down, face the way it is. Great. Ah, oh, those look great. All right guys, well that's gonna do it. I will post all of the final images with this video so you guys can see what we ended up doing in Photoshop. Thank you so much for following along. Make sure you click the like button if you've enjoyed this content. Subscribe, check us out on Instagram and Twitter. And until next time, be awesome.